Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. This video is going to cover 2D crouching. If you haven't watched the previous two parts that cover jumping and horizontal movement, be sure to go back and watch those. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. We'll go ahead and jump into it by opening up our character controller 2D sprite that we've made in the previous videos. And what we're going to begin with on this is just creating some new variables for our crouching. We're going to create two public sprite arrays, and these are going to hold the different art that we need for standing and crouching. The first one we'll call standing, and then the second one we'll simply call crouching. Next we'll go ahead and create a private variable that will be our box collider. And we'll just name this Collide2D. Now what we're going to need is a variable for our skin. If you watched the previous two videos, you may remember that we have a skin underneath as a separate object from our cloth. So we need to make sure that we have a way to get that transform. Our next two variables will be sprite renderers, both of them will be private, and one will be for our character image and the other will be for our skin image. These are all the new variables that we're going to be adding to the script, so now we'll just go ahead and go down to start and initialize these. And we'll start with our Collide2D, and we're simply going to get component, and the component we'll be getting is our Box Collider 2 d Next we'll do our skin, and we're just going to get the tr this transforms child at index 0. And then we'll finally, we'll do our character renderer and our skin renderer. So to get these, we're just going to get component, sprite renderer. And then for our skin renderer, we need to make sure that we're getting the skins component of the sprite renderer and not this component. So we're going to do skin.get component, sprite renderer. And that's everything that we're adding to our start, so now we can go ahead and create our new function. We're only going to have one function for crouching, but it needs to be public, as we'll call it whenever we push a down button. So we'll have public void crouch, and it's going to have one parameter that will be a boolean, and we'll just call it pressed. Inside this function, we want to make sure that we crouch whenever we're pressing, and that our character stands back up once the character is released. So we're going to say if it's been pressed, we want to adjust our collider size, our collider offset, and then also the art of our character and its skin. So we'll go ahead and do collide to D dot size. And then we're going to do a new vector 2. And we're going to keep the same X that it already has. And then for the Y, we're going to make it 4.5. Depending on your art, this will be different. You can manipulate it in the scene to get the exact numbers that you need for it to look appropriate with your collider. And then for our offset, again, I've already gone into the scene and know exactly the numbers I need, but we're going to have another new vector too. And we're going to do the same collide offset for the X that it already is set to. And then for the Y, we're making it go down 0.5 in the negative direction. Next is the handling of our sprites, so we're going to take our character renderer, and then we're going to get the sprite of that, and we're going to give it the crouching array at index 0. The index that you choose is dependent on the order of the art that you stick into your public sprite array. I'm going to have the character art go in before the skin art, so that is why my index is 0. The last thing we're going to do inside this portion of the if statement is take our skin renderer, get its sprite, and then do the same thing but with an index of 1. So now we need to have an else for whenever the player releases, and we're going to do the opposite of above. So we're going to take the collider 2D size, and we're going to do a new vector 2. We're going to keep the X the same as we did previously. And then we're going to make the Y a 6 in size. 
As for the offset, we're just going to set everything back to zero. So again, you can just keep the colliders 2D offset X the way it was, and then we're setting it to zero in the Y. And then we're going to finally, and then we're going to finish off with our renderers again. So our character renderer dot sprite is now going to be the standing at index zero. And then the skin render sprite is going to be standing at one. This is underlined because I forgot to put new vector two, and that should handle that. All right, so this is all of the code that we're doing for our crouching, so we can go back to our scene. So now we're gonna be adding in our crouch art, so just go to the art folder, drag in whatever crouch art that you have, and then we'll go ahead and go to our character cloth, go down to our character controller script. We're gonna make the sizes of both of these two. We'll drag in our character cloth and our character skin into standing, and then our crouch cloth and our crouch skin into crouching. Now we're gonna go to our canvas. We're gonna duplicate our left button and just simply name it down. And we're gonna switch the X into the negative direction. Then we'll open it up and go to our image and give it a rotation of 180 so it points down. We'll go on to our down button and we'll simply just change these functions to be crouching. And we want it to be false whenever the pointer is lifted. And then we want it to be true whenever the pointer is pushed down. So you can go ahead and save and we'll click play. And then you can see the art plays and I'll move the game view over to a different screen. So that way in the scene you can see the box collider getting smaller. And that's how you create crouching in 2D on Unity. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Again, the past two parts, if you haven't watched those, were horizontal movement and jumping. This is the end of the character controller in 2D's tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.